G'day and welcome back to Buildsome. And in this, the 25th presentation in the series on the Timber Framing Code, or AS1684.2, we're going to look at eave beams, or sometimes better known or referred to as veranda beams. So, the rules that we're going to need for eave beams are 6.3.7 and 6.3.6, .6. and the table we're going to look in particular, this one, Today is table 17 of the supplements. So rule 6.3.7 veranda beams says that the size of the veranda beams shall be determined from span table 51A of the supplement for a single span and continuous span respectively. Design parameters for veranda beams shall be as shown in figure 6.22. Here's one that's particularly pertinent, pertinent to our example. The ends of beams that are supported on stud walls shall be carried by jam studs with beams considered as lintels or posts. Cantilevered beams gable ends shall be sized in accordance with clause 7.3.16 and figure 7.31. So I just want to show you about this paragraph here. Ends of beams that are supported on stud walls shall be treated as lintels. So have a look at our plan. Our eave beam is going to continue across between this uh, wall junction here and this wall junction here so we've got somewhere to run our rafters or our trusses on so technically it's going to be supported at both ends so therefore we can treat it as a lintel so then need to look at our lintel uh, rule to work out where what span table we're going to use so in this case 6.3.6 uh, .6, lintels and ring beams so says that the size of lintels and low bearing walls shall be determined from span table 17, that's for sheet roofing, and 18 for tile roofs. All supplements for single storey or upper storey with two storey construction, uh, sorry, that's for a single storey or upper storey of a, of a two storey construction. Or if you're doing the lower storey of a two storey construction, it's tables 47 for sheet and 48 for tile. So we've got a sheet, single story sheet roof, so we're going to use table 17. So table 17, again, fairly familiar, should be familiar with this sort of setup now. We need the roof load width, so our roof load width was uh, you know, under 3 metres, so we're going to use the 3 metre column. Our truss rafter spacing, according to our little information down here, is 600, so I'm going to use that column there. And we need to know what the maximum lintel span is. So if we look here from timber to timber, we've got a span of 2.8 metres. So we come down to 2.8 and we find that we can use two 140 by 45s as our beam. Um, now again, because it's a 45, that sort of sparks my interest as far as efficiency goes and you'll find it's actually more efficient to use two 170 by 35s okay we get a bit more span out of it but there's less timber in set 170 by 35s than there is in 140 by 45s so there we go we're going to use two 170 by 35s for my eave or veranda beam